Let's head down to BC to not get a one. How to differentiate or just integrate? We can solve an integral by parts, but let's keep that between you and me. Mr. Yo, get a five on BC. Let's start with the basics with the power rule. Find the exponent n, multiply by f, then subtract one and now put it back to the place you got it from. Somehow you'll get a five on BC. We gotta differentiate, say goodbye to all the constants. But what about when we have two functions? If we got f and g of x, f from g plus f g prime, now I know how to do the product rule. Continuous. F of z must have a value. Continuous. The limit of f exists at c. Continuous. F of c and the limit must equal. Continuous as the orbit of the moon. Solve with partial fractions. Factor the bottom. Solve for A and B now. Finish with N. You're unsuited for the rage of calc. Pack your plus C because you're through. How could I make a five out of you? F is stiff on an interval Concavity. I Concave up when F prime increases Concavity. Concave down when F prime decreases Test, Test for, for concavity, concavity is what you need F is continuous on A to B F of A differs from F of B K exists between these two values. I D C holds there is a five in you. F of C has a value. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with. Oh god, I'm blinded by the sun. <laughs> Go. Continuous as the orbit of the moon. <laughs> Go. Wow. <laughs> Wait, we need to take that. Wait, I did 